Hi. A few minutes ago I took a video of um, this latest version of my Mark II PV router. This is one that gives the ability to control the uh, immersion in a phase angle control uh, manner. So since then I've simply moved it out to the um, garage. I've connected up a CT. Um, the CT um, is this Magnilab one which sits directly alongside um, the other one that I normally use. This is just on the um, neutral line um, where the power comes into our house, the grid supply point. Uh, nothing else has changed um, except that the uh, orange wire here which goes to my immersion heater that used to connect up to my standard rig which runs in a burst mode manner has now been uh, patched into um, the new rig which is working in a phase angle manner. So the system's up and working, there's no laptop, um, I've just plugged this in and, and it's working and here we are. So this is um, generating, uh, dumping power to our hot water um, in a phase angle type of mode. So the purpose of bringing it out to the garage, um, the acid test is how well does it work, how well does it balance um, the power. So I hope this is visible doesn't look too good but hopefully the dial is not going round and that tells me that well the the digital meter here has got its light on um, what that tells me is that I'm not importing power which is good uh, the system's been sitting here untouched for some minutes nothing's been on in the house to my knowledge the odd fridge maybe um, there's been enough power to give us a little bit of surplus so I suspect that this meter is sitting here in its anti-creep mode which means that it hasn't seen um, more than 10 or 12 um, watts of forward power in a few minutes so it's gone into its uh, sleep mode. So the all-important disk meter is stationary which uh, bodes well. Now the best way to see what's going on is to put the um, power um, fully onto our immersion heater which will consume some power um, and then that makes sure that this um, meter here is not sitting on its end stop. So if I just lean across and put full power on, we can now see the dial going round. And needless to say, we're importing power there. So if I switch this off at a convenient time, there we are. Now we should see the energy bucket uh, fill up as the disc uh, winds back. And instead of getting to 1800 joules and stopping, it will stop um, at a point which at somewhere on the profile which runs between 1300 and 23 it'll sit at whatever level is appropriate for the uh, amount of surplus power that's coming in so um, it doesn't feel as though there's an awful lot of power um, at the moment let's have a look we're getting 500 watts of power coming in the house will take 250 or so so there's only 250 watts of surplus power, but the dial is pretty static, which is good. Let's have a look at the um, what's going into our system. There's a little bit of flicker there, but um, I think neons just do that. But I'm pretty confident that 100 times per second, we are just putting in the tail end of every half main cycle. And this is very encouraging that the dial does appear to be um, completely uh, stationary. If I were to put the immersion fully off, the whole, um, turn off the circuit breaker to the immersion, then you'd be able to see what this, um, what the surface power looks like. Um, if the sun, more sun would come out, it would be a better test. Uh, but at the moment, um, that's the the best that um, Merseyside sunshine um, can do. So that was full power, and we're now back to pretty well the point that we were before. Now that's interesting actually, that's quite a good little demo. So if I put the um, immersion off, we're now exporting, but we're, we're not exporting to the extent that the meter um, takes that energy permanently away from us. So when I switch back on, we get to the same place on the dial uh, as we were before. So that's quite a, a, nice, um, a nice demo. So once more if I put full power on, and then switch it off. This shows us winding back towards the active zone, which is between 1300 and uh, 
2300 and instead of coming to the hard stop which we've seen before at the 1800 point um, it's much more progressive now it's good to note that there's no obvious oscillation because I've gone to some trouble in the algorithm so that the um, firing time is proportional to the um, level of the energy bucket so if there's 1500 joules in the energy bucket that's 20% up the range then we will get 20% power and the firing time is adjusted um, by the algorithm in the later sketch uh, according to that so there we go that's the phase angle version um, which is working um, you're going to get most uh, interference, RF interference, noise interference um, and so on at half power we unfortunately don't have the sun to show you what half power looks like um, the system seems to be working um, nice and quietly at the moment um, and here we are so we're generating um, just dumping a, a relatively small amount of power um, if uh, we get some more better sunshine then I'll uh, see how it works on nearer to full power 700 watts so we're getting maybe 500 of surplus power which is only one sixth so we're only putting one sixth or so of each half cycle um, in the dial is drifting round now either that means that we're getting more power coming in from the sun or we have some inherent drift in the system um, I don't know um, it's the way it's drifting rather suggests to me that we have a drift so it may be that in the phase angle mode um, there is a drift which comes in at different levels of, of surplus power which would be unfortunate because the um, other mode uh, seems to be rock steady but if anyone's interested in using a phase angle mode um, the basic system um, will be posted today up in the open energy, open energy monitor org website and if anyone's got any questions um, just pop them up on the forum so thanks for watching cheers for now